Hey guys, it's Karina, and I want to recommend to you guys The Cinder and Ella Duet by Kelly Oram. It's basically about um, this 18-year-old girl who um, gets in an accident, and while in the midst of that accident, she gets a email from her online friend, Cinder, who later you'll discover that he is a um, movie star. And I'm not exactly ruining anything because it's in the just jacket of the book. So... But he's hiding the fact that he's a movie star and um, they both secretly love one another. They first, they want to um, avoid each other from meeting because of his status and his reputation. And, um, and the fact that he feels like if he reveals himself, in a way he'll lose her. So he's afraid to put that at risk. But, um, it's their love story. I love it because Ella is a book reviewer and her and Cinder love books. Um, that's how they met, actually. They met through um, Ella's uh, channel on the, the internet and they've been friends for three years. So it's their love story, and I think it's fantastic. Um, the second book and the final book is Happily Ever After. Um, at at the very end of the first book, um, they decide to take their um online relationship and put it to the forefront and test how their relationship will compare to the online thing. And we have to um, go on a roller coaster with Ella and Brian because... Brian, a.k.a. Cinder, is a famous movie star and he doesn't want to lose Ella because of his fame. And this book is basically how they both navigate with him being, him being in love with a normal girl who has disabilities which, in a way, um, kind of no one wants Brian to be with her because of her because of her physical disabilities. But they work through that little issue, which I think is a great romance. Just telling you, you don't have to be exactly perfect, like a supermodel type, to always get the man of your dreams, basically. He loves her no matter what she looks like. Before her accident, she was your average 18-year-old who 
I kind of love this part. She actually um half Chilean and half white, so she's biracial. And I haven't seen that yet in a Cinderella retelling, and I think it's fantastic we got that. Um, that, um, um, thing. I can't even think of the word right now. Representation of a biracial, um, girl. Um, playing Cinderella. Um, but I think it's amazing, and I love how uh, Brian, a.k.a. Cinder, sticks up for her. So I think, um, of course, this is amazing. This is an amazing book, and I hope um you guys will give this um duet a try. Thank you. Bye.